Hey everyone, this is Sunday with FBN, and I am here today out on the ranch itself with Mike Galloway of Our Wyoming Life. And this may be a familiar sight to you. Uh, Mike has been on our channel in the past for a takeover. So we're using this time to sort of check in, see how things are on the ranch and uh, ask him a few questions. So uh, hello, Mike, how are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm doing great Sunday, how are you? Good. Uh, so for those who are watching who may be less familiar with your operation, can you tell us a little bit about your operation? Uh, who do you have out on that ranch? And uh, <laughs> I guess who or what do you have out on the ranch? <laughs> a little of both, actually. Uh, so we are actually a cow-calf operation. We have been uh, since the early 1900s here in Northeast Wyoming. Um, now, with the uh, the changes in the market and how things are happening around here, we're actually diversifying the ranch more than we ever have in the past. Um, we've had a feeder system. We've had, you know, we've done yearlings. We've, of course, cow-calf. Um, but now uh, we are really concentrating on direct-to-consumer sales as much as we can. Uh, we started out doing farmer's markets a few years ago, and we've just grown from there. And uh, so now uh, we offer pretty much anything that you can think of that you can get from the ranch, whether it's beef, pork, chicken, um, vegetables vegetables, all kinds of stuff just that comes directly from the ranch and we're able to offer it directly to our local and consumers all over the U.S., which is really exciting. That's so awesome. Yeah, the, the feel to table truly kind of experience, which is really great. Uh, so, you know, for those who do not know your backstory a little bit, it's super interesting how you got into um, the our Wyoming life, the life that you currently live. So can you give us a little bit of that backstory? Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a weird, uh, windy road sometimes. Uh, my wife and I worked in radio for a number of different years. Uh, we were married in 2008, and uh, her stepdad had a heart attack in 2008. Oddly enough, pretty quick after he saw the bill for the wedding, honestly, and uh, had a heart attack, and they asked us if uh, we could come back and help out on the ranch uh, for that winter. And, and we were pretty high up. I was actually a vice president with, with the company that I worked for, the radio broadcasting group. So um we said okay let's take the winter off and we'll go back to wyoming and we'll uh we'll hang out and see what's going on we were newlyweds we didn't have anything else going on so uh, we came back to the ranch and i kind of got a crash course in how to feed cows how to drive a tractor i'd never done any of that kind of stuff before in my life and we stayed uh through spring and made it through winter fed all the cows and then you know next thing you know the cows are calving and then after that comes haying and then, <laughs> then you're roped you know, here, in <laughs> yeah and then it was just like okay we're here what are we going to do and so my wife erin that's when she uh, really got into the farmers markets and, and raising our own food on the ranch and, and we kind of you know just embraced the lifestyle as much as we could and eventually um come about uh, 2017 almost uh, 10 years after being on the ranch uh, we decided we might have a message to actually share with other people and that's when we started the youtube channel and kind of went down that road and and it all became about uh, showing people where their food comes from and more importantly the families behind it Awesome. That is such a great story. And I love that you make it sound like it's a slippery slope. Like you start with one task and then before you know it, you're just doing it for 10 years. So, well, exactly. You know, they say they say that chickens are like the gateway animals. So if you get chickens, <laughs> eventually you're going to get a goat and eventually and after then, you get a goat and you're, then you're going to get a cow and then you're going to eat a horse. And then, you know, you just it's it's definitely it's a it's a tricky, slippery slope to start. It's so playing slippery. On. Yeah, uh, a good yeah. warning for our viewers. Don't start with a chicken unless you're fully prepared. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're ready to go, then let's so let's make funny. it happen. <laughs> Awesome. Well, so looking back at 2021, since we're sort of at the tail end of it, um, you know, what are some highlights and lowlights from the farm? What's been really good and what's been awful lately? Well, I mean, honestly, we've been in drought for years um, and we've been dealing with that. So we've been buying a lot of hay um, and luckily, you know, being able to do YouTube and all the other, being able to sell beef online and, and beef jerky and all that kind of stuff has helped, you know, sustain the ranch. I don't think that honestly, without us doing YouTube and going down and, and diversifying as much as we have, um, I don't think the ranch would be here. We're a fairly small operation as Wyoming ranches go. We run about 5,000 acres, um, which is basically a drop in the bucket. Uh, being able to run less than 200 cows is tough to do uh, yeah. without a wife in town that has a really good job and or something. Yeah. And so um, that's kind of been our big struggle, struggle over the last few years is trying to um, figure out ways to, to make the ranch pay for itself. Uh, yeah. We've been doing YouTube now for going on five years, and uh, that's been 
that's been our saving grace. And, and, you know, it's, it's funny because as many hardships as you see in ranching and farming, um, when we have people come up to us and they say, Hey, I went to uh, my grocery store the other day and I was looking at meat and the meat counter. And I looked at it in a whole different way because I've watched something you did, or I, or I saw a post that you made or whatever it was. So when you can actually reach out and, and touch people's lives in that way, and it's just something simple as food, but everybody eats. So it doesn't matter if it's a vegetable, if it's, if it's a protein or a meat, pork, chicken, whatever, um, everybody eats. So being able to connect to people that way has been um, really what saved the ranch. Yeah, that's so awesome. It's such a great story. And uh, shout out to YouTube for <laughs> making it easy to upload videos. So, uh, so how does that day-to-day -day production look like for you guys? Like, how do you incorporate filming videos with ranching, you know, for your everyday it's... You know, routine? <laughs> Is it tough? <laughs> It's a trick sometimes. I mean, a lot of times there's been many times and I think I, everybody's dealt with this. They're like, I did something. I, sh I wish I would have had a camera. You know, yep. I wish I, I wish I would have had a camera. Well, the problem is that I do have a camera. I have to basically have it with me everywhere I go. So if something happens, we do try to get the camera up as fast as possible and catch it and then figure out what you're going to do with it later. Sometimes is how it yep. works. So um, yep. you know, the, when the highway patrol stops by the house and says, Hey, uh, you've got cows on the highway. And because the fence broke or somebody drove through a fence or whatever might have happened. And you have to tell the higher of a trauma, well, hold on a second. I got to get my camera and I'll be right <laughs> Wait, out. Wait, let me film um, this. They, they look. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, funny. Exactly. So, so, the, so they look at you a little bit different. Um, I had a, an interesting experiment experience the other day. I was uh, taking packages to UPS. I had a camera set up as I was wheeling packages in and out the door. Well, one of the people at UPS decided to come out and help me. And uh, as they're helping me carry stuff in, they looked over and they said, uh, why are you filming? Me? <laughs> and I said, well, honestly, I wasn't expecting anybody to come help me. You know, so there is that aspect of it. You've got to make sure that everybody's on board with the thing, yeah. whether it's a highway patrolman or the, or the UPS guy. Uh, you got to make sure they're cool with it. The cows, I don't have to ask permission. No, so they're it works fine out great. with it. <laughs> they they so love cute. it. The stars <laughs> are fine with it. They, they're not exactly. picky. <laughs> That's so great. Not at all. Awesome. Well, uh, this has been wonderful. And, and I really want to do a kind of call to action at the end here, because now you are shipping out products everywhere. So if someone wanted to buy directly from the ranch that we are witnessing, they can. So, um, yeah. so yeah, exactly. Cow, is... cows are way over there. <laughs> yeah, this is all this has all been a great pitch yeah. for them, too. So <laughs> that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so so I'm going to direct them to just our Wyoming life.com. Correct. If they want to if they want to buy. Yeah. If you head to our website, you can find out everything about us, whether you're looking to buy jerky, jerky, uh, chicken, pork, beef, whatever you're looking for. Um, or if you just want to check out the videos, you can find links to them there as well and, and kind of just join our herd and, and see what we're doing. Um, it's funny because we get a lot of viewers that live in the city, but we have a lot, a lot of viewers that are farmers and ranchers also. Yeah. And uh, I've had you know, farmers stop by or ranchers stop by and they'll say, or they'll send me an email and they'll say, you know, after I get done with my, my day of work, I have to jump online and see what Mike did that day. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that can make me feel better. You know, they're seeing the so, competition. I see, I see how it is. Exactly. That's so funny. Exactly. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate this so much. This was great. The view is beautiful. There's a little snow out there. So um, I know bit. we'll be checking in with you again soon. So uh, maybe we'll have some more in the new year and see what you guys are up to. Awesome. Well, thank you, Sunday. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you so much. Bye, Mike.